Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome to my studio vlog. Uh, this vlog will be featuring my first Halloween set for the year, Haunted Bookshop. And we are getting started tonight. It's The date should be on the screen, but um, it's Tuesday night, 9 o'clock and my, uh, I'm sweaty. My partner's already gone to bed, so I can actually see them. <laughs> the door is open for Heidi to go in, but um, she's actually behind the camera right now. So it's like I'm talking to her. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're starting a new studio vlog. Um, I don't know, I wasn't sure for a while, and then sometimes it's hard to like take out and film while I'm also just trying to work, but. Um, yeah, we'll try with this set because I am properly starting tonight. Uh, I've got some like preliminary work done and I know what I'm drawing, but I just have to like get the work done now. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to get started. I'm going to do a scene and a person so I could do an Instagram sneak and then I'll get the bowl, the bowl, bowl rolling. <laughs> I apologize for any like background sounds. I will try and edit out the dialogue a bit better, but it is summer, so I have fans going. I have dishwasher going, washing machine. It's all going to be going through these vlogs, but they're pretty, you're probably used to them by now if you're watching these. I will say apologies to, I've seen a few comments say, um, my farm art just came out for SBC. I did an exclusive farm themed set and it's coming out this week. It's uh, officially in shop tomorrow when I'm filming this. So it should be in the shop uh, when you're watching this. And um, I saw some comments mentioned they were hoping I did a vlog for it, but I didn't. <laughs> Apologies. I actually, uh, I drew most of that set in one day, in one night. I was up until like 5 a.m. doing that, but um, the mood struck and my wrist was finally better because if you've been watching my plan with me, as you know, I've um, I had just kind of take a week off. I was like, I finally like got through the burnout and then I had to take a week off because my wrist uh, was too painful. I do, I get kind of like tennis elbow tendonitis. So, um, probably sometimes this, in these vlogs, we'll probably, I'll try and remember to do hand stretches before we so we could do that in a second before we draw and uh, if you're interested in hand stretches for any reason I will link the video that I use down below because it's really good it's listed as for artists but if you use your hands a lot like with writing and stuff it could be useful but we'll do that in a minute I'm just watching Heidi hop around my cat she is um, being very silly but what was I going to talk about? okay so let's do it it's Tuesday night, we're going to get started, and tomorrow I don't know how much work I'm going to get done because we're going to go see Oppenheimer at the IMAX screen, which I've never been to the, is it IMAX? I'm trying to remember if that's what it's called, yeah, <laughs> like, make me, confusing me with HBO, but um, I've never been to the IMAX screen here in Helsinki because we got like two cinemas close to us, but um, they don't have that. And this one's like further away at, at a different mall. So I'll take you with us and show you a bit of going to Helsinki, probably like a little bit on the metro if you've never seen that. The metro is very orange, I will say. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit of Helsinki as we um, come and go tomorrow and see Oppenheimer. Because we've just seen, we saw Barbie last Thursday, so we got to do Barbenheimer. <laughs> so do Oppenheimer tomorrow. And then, uh, but by the rest of the week, we should be getting the set done. I hope to release it at least Saturday would be the latest. But we can see uh, if we can like get as much done Thursday and Friday, may, maybe release it Friday. If we get our butts in gear. Um, it depends on how tired I am tomorrow because it is a long film. We're seeing it at 12.30 p.m. But it's three hours long and then metro there and back and blah, blah, blah. So, we'll see. Anyway, I'm getting all sweaty. So, it's not even that hot. It's just, you know, warm in here. So, let's get started on this set. Um, the first thing, as I said I was going to do is... 
um, hand stretches. So I am going to do those and then we got to get prepped because uh, I'll probably read my book while I do this. All right, let's have a look-see. All right, so our stretches are done. So I'm going to get my iPad. Here she is. I should really clean this cover because it's kind of gross. You can see that? Ew, but I always fold under, so it's like, whatever. So. Kind of got an idea here. So sort I've of patched it together as you can see. Then I'm going to put it to the side so I can draw from it from reference. But that's the idea we're going for the scene. Then I'm probably going to put a tree, sort of dead tree over it as well. But that's kind of the idea, rough idea. Um, we're going to be the outside of the bookshop. So where I got the bookshop from was, um, I'll just say for it before we get into it. <laughs> Um, was I was planning for a while to do an autumn bookshop set, and I feel, but I feel like that is done a lot, either bookshop or coffee shop. Um, and then my autumn walk set had coffee and stuff in it, so some cafes. So uh, bookshops have kind of been kind of done, and I've done sort of spring anytime bookshops before, but then I was thinking about Halloween and um, what was I going to do for that. And I wanted to do proper spooky, so I can't remember if it was last year, or at least a couple, not that long ago. There was a really cool haunted house set that was actually really spooky, and I really liked that. And um, so I had this sort of idea, and then it kind of merged with the idea of bookshop. It's like haunted, actual spooky, dark, nighttime, dusty, evil <laughs> stuff has gone wrong in this bookshop kind of feel little ghosty kids and stuff so that's where all cover came out and plus I was also thinking that like there are so many book girlies in the planning community and they don't really get a lot of book themed kind of things for spooky season so I thought this would be a good marriage of those two things so if you're just into books and you want something for Halloween then this would be useful as well um, I'm gonna put some actual like books in it I think so far I've got um, The King in Yellow, which I really love those books. It's a bunch of short stories that are sort of um, horror, fantasy, sci-fi. And if you've seen the first season of True Detective, they actually took inspiration from The King in Yellow, but not, it's not exactly, but it's those kind of vibes, you know what I mean? Creepy. Um, so that's the kind of what I, I'm going to include that because I think that's fun. Because in the king in yellow all of the stories are connected by that the book the king in yellow uh, exists in every story in every world and if you read the book it drives you insane it's kind of the thing so i thought that'd be a fun book to include and then we could probably include like you know more typical books have you know but i want them to be sort of older and more interesting books so maybe more victorian gothic i don't know Cause it's supposed to be an old bookshop as you saw but sort of the that grimoire bookshop and i thought that'd be a cool name for it and then i would put over the windows like wood sliding and stuff so it's like all boarded up and you're not supposed to go in but the door is open underneath the slats so you could yeah and there's gonna be a woman in the window as you saw yeah but that was my idea is that um 
the book girlies need a spooky kit. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Uh, so I'm going to get started on that set and I'm going to come back to you when I've got the line work done. Uh, I'm going to maybe put some colors down. Um, trying to feel, I've got sort of an old bluish kind of color palette, bluey gray. We'll see how it works out. I was thinking of adding, yeah, I kind of wanted to make it more monotone. So the whole spread is just like dark. I don't know how it's going to turn out, um, but we'll see. Um, especially because, you know, I'm doing bookcases and stuff, so usually those are like brown. So <laughs> I'm going to might have to layer blue with brown and make it work. We will see. The coloring is going to be the hard part, I think. But I'll come back to you when we're ready to do that. I'm going to read my book, which I read on my phone. So <laughs> I'm currently reading Brandon Sanderson's Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. That's his secret project number three this year. So you only have one more project left, but um, I've been enjoying them so far, all of them. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> I just started coloring and I completely forgot about the vlog. Well, I didn't forget, I just, you know, I was on a roll. So actually you can see um, a little tip with these wood planks is that I only drew those ones. And then I just um, repeated them. So we have it all boarded up. It looks a bit funky right now because I still need to like make it dark. So we're going to have to like work on some layering here maybe a linear burn i don't know we have to work on making it look dark and grungy maybe this dry blood just using some watercolor um because i thought maybe that would work i don't know man we'll see <laughs> we'll see how it goes you know what i mean but um it's just going to take some layering and whatnot. I think that's a start. But um, I want it to be more dim than this. Just a little bit. I think if we start doing some more layers of um, shadows. But this is sort of the look so far. I'm the creepy person. Creepy. <laughs> um... But yeah, I think I need to do actual proper shadows and stuff. And then I want a little bit of light to come out of here, probably. But we're working on it. And see how you can see I'm doing the blues. But I want to do color over this blue, brown to make it a bit more blue as well. So I'm going to continue to work upon this. I have my headphones, earphones in. So I don't know if the um, microphone might be better this way. But I think I finished the scene. I think it's giving me finished vibes. Um, I added like right on the top. I added some blue and also some um, soft color like fog kind of brush to like make it a bit more foggy. And you can see I've done a lot of effects. Try to do there's a little bit of light coming out of the door. Like I don't know. I don't know if that works. Maybe. Um, and of course light from the moon coming in. You have a little bit of light around the spooky lady. And then, yeah, just the watercolor effects and just trying to make it all gungy. This is all of the wood, um, all that group layers. But, yeah, I don't know. I think that works. I don't know if I need to bring up the, you don't really see the windows looking very shiny, but maybe they don't have to. Um, but I think that is the first scene done. I am doing um, a double box scene, which I usually draw first, but I, I just want to make an easier one to get through. <laughs> this was an easier scene to draw because the double box scene is going to be a inside of the bookshop. So it's going to be lots of books and dirt and grime, and we're going to be inside here like, ooh. I was considering putting like a don't enter sign, but I think it just looks even better just sort of plain and the way it is. I don't know if I should try and put, hmm. I don't know if I have something that could necessarily, 
Because obviously I don't want to put leaves on it because they'd be dead right. But I don't know if I have anything that's more sticks. You know what I mean? Uh, if there's one thing about me, um, and if you want, if you're getting into drawing, I highly recommend brushes. It just makes life so much easier. And people have made so many good um, they've made so many good uh, brushes for different kinds of drawing, like especially scene stuff. I wonder if this, because the way it like I just feel like oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really I guess this is a you know how it, there'd be like vines without the leaves? Like it used to have beautiful plots. Let's see if we can do that. You know, we just sort of, um, just to add a bit more of a creepy feel to it, you know what I mean? Maybe not so wiggly, but it's an interesting brush that's supposed to be like branches and vines. Does that work, I wonder? Okay, that might work. It looks like it's supposed to have vines, you know, like beautiful leafy greens growing over it. But now, um, it's just sadness. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to put a little bit in the soft color so we can sort of um, do some shading over that. Whoop, try and get to the air. Try and get some shading into here, and then we'll probably gauze in and blur that. Okay, that yeah, works. I think it just made it infinitely more creepy, and then also brings your eye up to the spooky woman face. Because before you're like, are oh, you just looking at that? But now this way, it like incorporates more of this upper building. Because I kind of wanted it to be open. Like this is the edge of a building here and sort of more street there. And then there's like a second floor over there. But I think this brings, balances a bit more. and brings your eye to more of that picture there. Okay, I think that looks good. And then also it balances this. Um, as uh, in art school, they always said, do you think this is resolved? <laughs> and I think for now, this is resolved. I feel weird about like not putting stars in the sky, but I feel like it should be like a cloudy, starless night. I think Heidi just sneezed. Anyway, <laughs> um, I think that's the first thing done. But yeah, so now I just want to draw a person and then we can get something popped up onto Instagram either today or early tomorrow. Probably tonight just for fun. But yeah. So that's the first thing. Now I'm going to get back into my book. Oh, so just a warning. I've turned the light off. I have our um, sort of nice ambient light going so Locke can sleep tight. But uh, this is just a little sneak. Uh, I think you shouldn't see too much more art from this book. But this is You, Me and the Nightmare Painter that I'm reading on audiobook. But there are beautiful illustrations throughout the whole book. And the audiobook describes them. So um, I just have my laptop up so I can scroll through the ebook that we also have. So I can see the uh, paintings that are described. And like the art in this book is so beautiful. Um, as you can guess from the name, Nightmare Painter, it is about artists. So I'm very excited. But the art in this is just top notch, just beautiful. Um, Brad Sanderson really does do a good job at working with artists, so I always love that.
so I'm just going to show you that. But um, we're going back to drawing. Again, I started coloring. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys, but yeah, I just drew. This is the girl with like the candle, and um, yeah, just working on the different layers. Being pretty clean with it. I don't know. I kind of just like whoa, let the lines take me, but. Uh, I kind of do like a, a shape and then I just look at the image back and forth kind of thing and draw it up. So pretty. I think this would be great for um, the inside when I do the bookshelves. But I am going to pair this on Instagram with the outside. But you could think that she's maybe like a ghost walking on the outside or she's a person visiting. Who knows? But yeah. So I like the start of this one. Huzzah! I really hate drawing um, candelabras though. It's so hard to like make it look 3D. I pretty much just like look when I'm drawing it, I just look at like this one bit. <laughs> it's like <laughs> struggle down. But anyway, um, book is really good right now, so which is why I didn't want to stop to film because I want to keep listening to my book. So I'm going to get back at it. Okay, I'm recording my screen, so you're going to be talking to me. Uh, well, you're going to be hearing me, hopefully, but I will be photoshopping. <laughs> so, we're going to go into, we're going to make this Instagram post now. So, I just have a whole Instagram, like, these are all the things that I've been doing over, like, years. Go to collections. And I just put the person and the scene across. And we're just, it's a very simple approach, but we're just going to do, that's as big as we can do it. Maybe we won't have the little person appearing. Do you know how I want to do this? Um, I think we might do the person with black hair and light skin tone and I still like to include as many people as I can you know because um, people always don't look yeah you know, the same so anyone could work for anybody but that's just how it would be so we could do it like that or we could do like Hmm. I suppose we could do like you could see more of the bookshop. It's sad because then you don't get to see the scary lady. You can't see her hands in the distance. Maybe that's enough. We want to see a bit of the moon as well. Okay, and then maybe we uh, center her as like. That's the teaser. Like, that's it. Simple as that. Merge it. And we'll save it as our new thing. And I'll put it on Instagram now, which is, will be great. But, um, yeah, sorry, it's super dark, but it's better to keep the lights off for luck because they're just in the next room. But, um,. That's all the work I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to see if this microphone on the being plugged in has helped any better with the sound. But I think I'm done for the night. Um, it's just about midnight. So I've been working 9, 10, 11, well, like 3 hours, 3, 4 hours. So got those two things done in 3 hours. Not not terrible. But it's a very simple scene in the end, you know. Um and 
a fairly simple person. It was the candelabra that took the longest time, to be honest. <laughs> Always the hardest. Um, but I will probably catch up on some YouTube that's come up and then probably read more book in bed and go to bed earlier than usual because I am going in to see the movie tomorrow. But I'll try and bring you along and I'll, because we're walking, we're taking the metro, everything. So I might as well bring you along for a few clips of that. But I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good afternoon, it is Thursday, 1pm, and I've had a slow morning, I woke up 9 something, but um, as you saw just before, I just put in some nice footage of going out to see Oppenheimer at the IMAX. Um, we left home about 11am, because we were seeing it at 12.30, and we had to go basically the other side of town. So... Yes, yeah, so we had to take the metro all the way across, and then um, we saw that at 12.30, and then at that mall there, they have, um, at Itakeskus, they have KFC, which we don't have in our area, and we only, um, I think Finland only got KFC maybe last year for the first time ever, so we had to go try it out because uh, I kind of love KFC <laughs> back in Australia. So super fun to like try it again and it was just like Australian KFC which is cool. I think it's franchised off an Estonian version of KFC but um, it was pretty much like Australian KFC which is awesome. It just doesn't have popcorn chicken which is a bit sad but it was a beautiful day. It was kind of cloudy but it was still warm so um, you know a nice time to like walk around but we didn't actually get back home until like 5 p.m. 
I did stop off at the chemist to refill my prescription. So we're out from 11 to 5. So after that, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I was totally beat. I didn't do any work yesterday after that because I was just so tired. And I went to bed like, I fell asleep at like 10 p.m. So, um, but it was a really good day out. And I must say, I really, really loved Oppenheimer. I think it was probably the best Nolan film. I'm not a huge Nolan fan, but that was really good. I mean, it's three hours long, but like the pacing and the editing is so good. It just chugs along, you know what I mean? So highly recommend if you're interested in that stuff. Um, I thought it was really good. And I liked the like different timelines and then moving timelines too. So, you know, like periods of time move within the different timelines. <laughs> But it was really good. Um, so I'm glad I went and saw it in the end. I also got to experience the IMAX screen here. Um, this is like the only one. So I wanted to see what it was like here. Um, I haven't been to IMAX in like decades. Because we used to have one in my hometown. But um, it closed. So I've only ever really seen like the early 90s IMAX stuff. Like the 3D under the water d dinosaur films. So... <laughs> Like documentaries basically. So it's fun to see a movie, an actual movie on the IMAX that's not 3D. But anyway, that was yesterday. Yeah, I was I was exhausted, so went to bed. Um so today we gotta do we're gonna do scenes and people. I've got the double box scene, uh, which is gonna be the inside of the bookshop. Then I have like one other full box scene, which is sort of just a vignette of some stacked books in a chair that's going to be like also within inside the bookshop and then for people I, I haven't done a lot of people for this set I'm just making this a bit smaller set than usual um I don't know because I feel like <laughs> in terms of like sales versus effort I I feel like sets need to be a little bit smaller at the moment um just for the amount of sales that are happening, because I think there is a bit of a drop at the moment. Uh, even despite my own, like, not releasing for a month, it was kind of... Even when I came back with some with some stuff, it still wasn't as the same level as earlier in the year. So I think, I don't know, there just it has been a drop. So I also need to um, think about how much time I'm spending on each set terms in terms of money return. So... Making it a bit smaller, so I think I should be able to get the people done as well because I'm going to have a full box with some hands, and then I've already done one person as we did earlier in this in the thing, and I'm only going to draw one other person. So I think I can get all of that done today, um, at least through this afternoon and night, and I will check in with you while we're doing it. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Then tomorrow we're going to get the elements done. We'll see how fast I get these scenes of people done. Because if I get them done, I think I'll just give them myself today. And then tomorrow we'll get the elements done. And depending on how long that takes me, it might take me all day though. Um, so we might be releasing this set on Saturday or Sunday. But then it's still out this week, so that's alright. Um, I do try, <laughs> honestly, I do try and get the sets out before the weekend. Um... Purely because, okay, first of all, a lot of shops do releases on, like, Fridays. I know Crass Press is Thursdays. And then Andrea, she does the um, new release video on Monday from SBC. So it's better to get during the week than the weekend um, for her video as well. And then for other shops, because otherwise it could be a whole week. But sometimes you just get it done when you get it done, you know what I mean? And I lost Wednesday and then I didn't work Monday. So, you know, that just moves the timeline a little bit. But I think if we get, we can get this done this week though, which is what I really want to do. And then, um, so that's what I'm going to continue doing. My plan also for this vlog is only to do the Haunted Bookshop in this one. And then I tend to, I'm hoping next week to start my second and last Halloween set which is going to be vampires and I'm going to start that on Monday so we can um, I'll try and do a studio vlog then as well of that because then we're turning into like customs and um, holiday stuff like Christmas so <laughs> which I've already sort of planned I already know what I'm going to do for that 
So, um, but my studio vlog for that, my Christmas stuff, I'm going to keep for Planmas. So that's not going to be up for quite a while, but that'll be up in December. But anyway, now I'm just rambling. I should really get started on this double buck scene, the inside of the bookshop. I need to tell myself that, so I find bookshelves really difficult because there's just so much stuff. So many things you have to draw, like the little books, over and over and over again. And if you're like not careful enough, they just look like squiggly little rectangles, which isn't great. But I also have to remind myself that it doesn't have to be so crazily detailed because they do print up so small in the end. They need to be more loosey-goosey with it, you know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do now. And I'll check in with you later. Yep, this has been almost two, over two hours, almost three hours of trying to draw this. This is why I don't do book bookshops a lot. <sighs> okay, let's make it all grungy and haunted, shall we? Do you like my headphones? They're those like Logitech Aurora ones. Very cool. But I'll talk without them because I can't hear anything. <laughs> so it is currently about 11 p.m. Um, it took me about four hours to do the double box scene with the book inside the bookshop with the bookcases. It took me a while. I showed you a little bit of it. Um, I kept just going back in and you know, adding a bit more shadows and lights. and Hopefully it prints up okay. I don't want to be too dark but not too light. It's fine balance with how it will print for sticker shop owners. So that's always something I have to keep in mind. How is it going to work for owners' um, shops? Not just how they're going to design things together but also how it will print for them. So I always make sure it needs at least a bit of contrast, a bit of light to um, print up nicely, but I think it'll be okay. But now it's 11, um, so I finished about 4, 5 p.m., and Locke finished work, so we just had dinner and watched The Simpsons and just hung out for a bit. Um, and then they went to bed at 9, which I went back to work and... Finished a scene, finished a like a, a mini scene where it's a scene box, but it's hands. And then I drew one other person, which ended up being just, it was going to be a kid, but I was like, if I could just do this, I could do this in one colorway with, um, I could and make it a proper ghost, because I wanted the kid to look like a ghost. I know that's kind of sad, but it feels very Casper-y, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so I, that that ended up being much quicker and easier than I expected. And I don't know if I should add another person or not. I usually have more options in this, but I feel like maybe this set should be more simple. Because if you have the plain scenes by themselves, double scene one, two, then shop outside, 
then chair, then hands, then person, then ghost. That's already six boxes you got to fill. And then you can have like a couple of flat lays and you can have a couple of um, normal ones. That's like 11 boxes minimum that shops could do. And then they could even also reuse, uh, you know, backgrounds and stuff. So I think we'll be okay with one optional per like person with all the options and one ghost kid. I think that will work. You see Heidi <laughs> looking outside. Um, yes, yeah, so that's actually done. I did all the work I needed to actually do today and I'm having some Vegemite toast. Because it's 11, uh, I'm not that tired yet. I need toast, I need to eat. So I think um, I'm working on Andrea's last vlog right now. It's like two hours long. So I've been working on it, but I've also been reading my book, which, oh my God, it's been so good. You, Me and the Nightmare pa Painter by Brandon Sanderson. I'll just keep mentioning if you didn't hear it. But it is so good, especially to draw to, because it's about artists and about art. And there's been so many pointed things of like, <laughs> where's this part where he's, he works as an, as an artist and he's like, you know, we never, they never told us in art school, how do you keep working when you've lost passion? How do you keep working when you can't, and but you need, to earn money to feed yourself and pay your bills like how do you get through that and no one's ever told me that and so he kind of like he used to be this amazing painter but now he just paints bamboo you know because it's easy <laughs> it's easy for his brain and he just paints bamboo over and over again and i was like uh i feel that <laughs> i'm feeling that like that was my whole june i didn't even paint like i didn't draw at all even so Heidi just pumping about. Um, but yeah, so I felt that. I felt that. I should really be eating my toast because it doesn't, it's only good when it's hot. Mm -hmm. But speaking of Andrew's two hour video, wearing my SBC shirt, Andrew sent me this shirt because. It wasn't her last party in 2019. It was the SBC party of 2018. And we all got a really cute pink shirt with like the bow on it. The day after the party, I went to um, Jinya Ramen in the domain because I was, I spent extra time in Austin just sort of hanging out by myself. But I went to Jinya Ramen in my beautiful pink shirt, wearing my SBC party shirt and guess who got ramen noodle sauce all like ramen noodle broth all over the shirt and um because i still just had to walk around like those stains baked in in the austin heat <laughs> and like not really washing it till i got home like three days later so i was like dang the shirt is ruined and i think i told audrey once but she was looking into baking shirts and she made some samples and she sent me one <laughs> because i'm a mess and I shouldn't be wearing such shirts, um, bright pink shirts, when I eat ramen. I will say I did enjoy Jinya. What was my favorite place to eat in Austin? I had really good nachos at, um, what's that place? What's that place? I feel like Kirsten goes there a lot recently. I can't remember. I really liked Velvet Taco though. That was good. Anyway, <laughs> thinking about Austin food. But anyway, um, what am I saying? Yeah, so I'm still awake and I'm eating some toast. So I think I'm going to watch a little bit more of a vlog and then see how I feel because we just got the elements, papers, glitters, listings left. And I, should be, I might be able to bash some elements out later tonight. But we'll see, but I think that's going to be it for me today, but I will um, check in with you tomorrow, I'm trying to do the vlog where I do like the whole set with you, just checking in for the days, um, but I don't think I want to blog on the weekend, so 
We're going to try and get it all done tomorrow. But it might release on Saturday. Like, I'll be able to get listings done probably, but we'll see. Um, Saturday is my deadline though, but we're getting there. We got the hardest stuff done. I just can't believe that that scene took me for over four hours. Just non-stop work. At least I have my book to listen to, but yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Well, good morning. It's Friday now, and I got one element done last night. I drew one while I was do watching Andrew's vlog, and I was like, well, that's it. <laughs> I'm done for the night. So, um, I didn't actually fall asleep until like 3 a.m., and then I woke up at 9.30 now, which I think that's what it is now. But look, I got a cat. She's very grumpy in the morning because she likes to be brushed. And have attention but um, I'm gonna have my coffee and put a video on for a little bit and then get started into the elements today so I'm, gonna do that. Ugh, I'm tired today luck got me these um, happy plugs happy plugs joy and they're like bright pink the lighting in here is very weird at the moment it's like cloudy today but anyway. and Aunt Heidi has joined us in a weird way but um yeah so these are like knockoff airpods which they're like 50 euros so they're much much cheaper because my airpods keep dying so uh, we're gonna try these out and see how they go plus they come in fun colors they also come in like light pink and lilac and all sorts so we'll see how they turn out they seem to be uh swedish so that's fun um, but yeah, so I'm going to try these out to see how they work, especially for, um, reading for me. But yeah, Heidi's looking over them. You interested, Heidi? Okay, so what time is it? It's 7 p.m. on Friday. And I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog because I finished the set. I put a little clip when I'm doing the papers, but today, for sure my to-do list, I got all this work done. So um, I got the elements done. They took about four hours in the end to do the elements. Um, so the same amount of time it did to, to take, took to do that one scene. <laughs> For the elements because I was reading my book during it and I finished my book and that's how much time I had left on it so 
was four hours. Then I got the glitters done. Then the papers done. And then I did papers for Andrea because sometimes I do that for her customs. I do, like I don't draw the custom, but I'll do the cut the papers. Uh, and then I edited the files and did the listings. I showed you doing a little bit of the paper listings because it's it's easy. Um, and we also got delivery donuts for dessert. Mo 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 mochi. <laughs> so they're mochi donuts. They're really really good. Um, and Lock cooked uh, spaghetti and bolognese. I made a Caesar salad with it. So. All in all, a very successful week and a successful vlog because I said done. I'm having this peach soda as a karoot. It, it is Moomin themed because, you know, Moomin's a finish. But it's really, really good. I love peach stuff. So, yes, yeah, so got, it got all done. So, what well, I did some work on, what did I do? I got work done on Tuesday. And then Thursday and Friday. So it's a, yeah, it's pretty much three days to get a set done. But there's a lot to do in those three days. So it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes it takes more days, you know, one piece at a time kind of thing. This one wasn't so bad because I did limit how many elements I did. And they didn't have like, because I had a very monochrome color palette, I didn't have to do like five different books. With all the different colors included <laughs> it was very simple so um that's good so i was able to spend a bit more time actually do working on like details of the scenes and things like that so i think it ended up well i enjoyed it I, there seems to be a lot of um i have posted it now and it seems to be a lot of positive comments on instagram we'll see how that translates into sales um basically two people have bought it so far so that's not so bad. Um, <laughs> see how it goes. See how it goes. Um, but yeah, so I'm free for the rest of the week. I can enjoy my weekend. Um, and I'll start Vampires on Monday. So I am going to try and film Vampires as well. It wasn't too bad filming. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else fun next week, though. <laughs> I go into the movies, but. We'll see how it goes. I'll try and do one next week. So I guess I'll next time we do see a vlog, it'll be Monday. But I don't know. I think this one worked out pretty well. Not too short. And some fun things and some drawing. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's been a good week. It's been a good week. You know, you take it week by week, honestly. <laughs> um, here, but um, me and my seagull plushie from Ikea. His name is Crozier and his floppy legs we say thank you for watching the vlog is i don't think there is a seagull emoji is a a seagull emoji i'm gonna look on my laptop um mm, this one's confusing there is oh my god what isn't there that's crazy why wouldn't you have one? There's a duck emoji. So if you watch to the end, put a duck down below. Or any other bird you like. Duck, chicken, there's a turkey, there's a swan, there's a dove, there's an eagle. All my American fans can, um, American fan. America and fan seems to go together for me in my brain. American followers, uh, subs, watches, American peeps, put the... Bald eagle up in there. I should stop now because, yeah, my work is finished and so now my brain doesn't work anymore. We, I'm probably going to spend the weekend playing The Sims, honestly. I deserved it, haven't I? I have deserved it. You should play The Sims, Jess. This is Crozy's vlog now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. That's not a sound that seagull makes. Okay, now I'm really gonna go. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a bird down below. And um, yeah, otherwise, thank you. And I will hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. I love you. Bye bye. Boop, boop, boop. Bye. Boop.